Earthquake, earthquake, moderate shaking expected in 52 seconds. That is the sound of an earthquake about to hit California. It takes the system about uh, four seconds to detect the earthquake and begin sending alerts. About to hit is the key, because once the really destructive wave hits, it's usually too late. We have literally no notice right now with a seismic event in our area. A burgeoning new system called Shake Alert will change that. Earthquake, earthquake, moderate shaking expected in 36 seconds. A few seconds warning may not sound like very much, but it only takes about three seconds to drop cover and hold on. If we can give enough of a heads up that the quake is coming, we can save lives. When an earthquake strikes, imagine the damage that could be avoided if authorities knew it was coming. Bridges could close, surgeries could stop, elevators could open at the nearest floor, allowing for escape. Today, Josh Basham is at an LA fire station to test one of his automatic mechanical responses to the shake alert system. It's really important to automate the response for earthquake early warnings because things like fire trucks get stuck inside the stations when the shaking jams the door shut. With hardware and software that Josh designed himself, the fire station doors should open automatically when they get the shake alert signal. If it works, Josh is one step closer to realizing a lifelong dream. Being a disaster preparedness volunteer myself for the last 10 years, you know, I've given you know, thousands of hours to save lives. But now being able to you know, have a business that's working with the universities and the government uh, to be able to accomplish this on even a wider, wider scale is, is awesome. It all begins with the technicians on the ground, in the ground. You got it? Okay. Alberto and Irving need to make sure that the equipment that senses the ground shaking is in working order. Clear? Clear. All right. There's a network of about 400 of these underground vaults, seismic sensor stations, littered all across the state of California and eventually the entire West Coast. You need ground motion sensors every place where an earthquake might begin. We're doing this for the greater good of the public and, and for her and it's not just the earthquake science, but I mean, there's, a, there's multiple reasons behind this. And so we need to be on top of this as, as often as we can. They check the sensors and data loggers in these vaults regularly. Ground is good. All the power's checking out correctly too. So the events uh, get uh, registered by the seismometers here. The actual waveform then sort of travels these cables, the signal cables, into the data loggers and convert it into a digital form which gets fed back into our network. And at that point, we're able to go ahead and properly analyze and study the events much clearer. These ones check out fine. Alberto and Irving are fully aware of the magnitude of their work. We may not be superheroes, but this is about as close to being a superhero as we can. Back in the labs of the US Geological Survey, if ground shaking signals are received, Shake Alert comes to life immediately. We have sophisticated scientific algorithms to detect that earthquake very rapidly. Strong shaking expected in 17 seconds. And then a very rapid estimate of where the earthquake is and how big it is. And then an estimate of the shaking, the effects. What area is going to shake, how hard, and when. So the earthquake begins here at the Red Star. Two different kinds of waves are radiating out from that. The P wave, the primary wave, which moves faster than the S wave, or the secondary wave that lags behind. The strongest shaking is in the S wave. And so the countdown timer is telling us how long it will be before the S wave arrives at our location in Pasadena. Very strong shaking expected in two seconds. But just like the hypothetical tree falling in the forest. Of course, it doesn't matter if you issue an alert if nobody does anything with it. And that's where Josh comes in. He hopes a mock shake alert signal will trigger the fire station doors to open. We have our, our brand new equipment installed and that is talking with the cloud server which is connected directly to the US government system. And what we're doing is we're sending a sample earthquake that meets the thresholds for the fire station. So we have it set at intensity 5.5. The earthquake that we're sending out is about a seven intensity. The simulation starts. This is a test. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. This is a test. It went exactly as planned. That all the wiring is correct and everything is working properly. It was cool. It was really cool to see the uh, years of work come together in a live test like this. 